It's, mm. uh, I've noticed that MDA has a, has a lot of them kicking around. So mm. that's an answer to the first question. If I uh, stop sharing my screen, uh, we've got a second question. This one's for you. For me? I'm yeah, are you ready? I am ready. How do you decide between a calculated column and a measure in Power BI? Excellent question. Um, I have got a little demo to show us today, so we can go through a couple bits and then just some further bits and pieces to, to talk about when to use each, the, um, the repercussions of using either of them and how they can affect the model. So as you can see here, um, I pulled in some data from a little Excel sheet I had, just one table, some columns and rows, just very basic stuff, the product name, category, unit price, quantity. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a calculated column and then two measures and just to see how they actually affect your data table. 